This is Jeff Grace from Swimming Specific Yoga and SwimmingSpecificYoga.com. This next short practice I've put together specifically for the effortless swimming community. I was talking to Breton recently and he told me that two of the areas that he felt are the most important where he sees swimmers need to improve in their mobility is through the thoracic spine, which is a mid spine, as well as the hips. So this short practice focus specifically on those two areas. We're gonna start this practice in child's pose. So you're gonna come to the back of your mat, come onto your knees, bring your big toes together, knees out wide. Now, if that is too uncomfortable for the hips, you can always bring the knees right together. Bring your seat back towards your heels, fold forward at your hips and bring your head down onto the mat. Now, once you're here, have the arms relax. The arms can be out front with the elbows bent, or you might have the arms by the sides with the hands by the hips. Wherever you are over the next four to six breaths, really bring your awareness, your attention to your breath and build your breath. So you're gradually using more and more of your lung capacity. On every inhale, really noticing the spaces between the shoulder blades and the ribs expand. On every exhale, noticing where you feel relaxation and release come through the body. And on every breath cycle, lengthening both the inhale and the exhale, doing this gradually, progressively, rather than forcing the length. Now, over the next four to six breaths, bring the awareness into the body and move that awareness from either head to toe or toe to head and simply notice how the body feels at this point. See if you can do that without having an expectation of how you will feel or judging how you do feel. Simply notice how your body feels at this point and be okay with what you notice. Then on your next inhale, you're gonna draw yourself forward to your tabletop. Bring the hands towards the front of the mat. Have the fingers spread wide and pointed straight forward. Shoulder over elbow, elbows over wrists, and have your knees directly under your hips. Now we're gonna start to move through the pelvis just by rocking the pelvis a few times. When you're doing this, you wanna keep the majority of the spine still. All we're gonna do is on an inhale, lift your tailbone. Exhale, drop your tailbone. And move with your own breath unlocking through the hips. A lot of times this is a movement that people have a little bit of difficulty with because their hips tighten up. Want to see if you can unlock through the hips, through the pelvis here with this subtle movement. Now we're going to come through the entire spine. On the next Inhale, lift that tailbone, arch your spine, chest forward, chin forward, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, drop the tailbone, round the spine, drop the head. And then move with your own breath here. Really have a focus on mobility through the thoracic spine, through the mid spine. On the inhales, as you come forward, press into the ground more strongly. On the exhales, as you round through the spine, press into the ground more strongly. On the next inhale, come to a neutral spine. You're gonna bring your big toes together, knees out wide again, and we're gonna push back to our child's pose. This time in our child's pose though, we're gonna reach forward with the fingertips. Lengthen through the arms, extend through the arms fully, whatever that means for your range, and feel the stretch coming through the lats, coming through both sides of the back. 
Gently press down into the fingertips and gently feel as if you're bringing or drawing the mat back towards your armpits. And you should feel the shoulder blades glide down towards the hips a little bit. So here we're increasing range, but we're also building our shoulder stability and building our awareness to that area around the shoulder blades. On the next inhale, glide forward back to your tabletop. Walk your knees back a few inches, tuck your toes under. And then on your next inhale, you're gonna glide forward. So you come shoulders over elbows, elbows over rest. So we're in a low push-up or knees push-up down position. Make sure shoulders are over elbows, elbows are over rest, press the ground away. The upper back fills up the space between the shoulder blades, so you should feel the shoulder blades coming away from each other. Core is strong, belly button and ribs draw back towards the spine. The hips are in line with the rest of the spine. Then keeping the elbows tucked in, exhale slowly lower down to the ground. Hands under the shoulders, elbows towards the ribs, top of the feet down. Press into the ground so your quads engage, your knees lift. On your next inhale, you're going to bring your chest and chin up and forward to a cobra, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, lower. We'll do that two more times, moving slowly and having great awareness in the spine. Inhale, rising up and forward with chest and chin. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rising up to your cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, tuck your toes back behind you. Exhale, press back to your tabletop. Really make sure you set well through the hands. Fingers spread wide, pointed straight forward. Then walk your knees back a few inches. Press your fingertips into the ground strongly so you feel as if you're clawing the mat with the first knuckle. And then you're gonna externally rotate your shoulders. So you're gonna feel or have the elbow pit pointed straight forward or away from you. And you're gonna have the triceps twirling towards each other. So that elbow pit might not point straight forward, but it's pointing away from you. And once again, fingers stay pointed straight forward as you externally rotate through the shoulders. Toes tucked under, back behind you, and on an exhale, you're gonna press the ground away, press the hips up and back in a diagonal direction, so you come into an inverted V positioning. Once again, press into the ground with the fingertips, make sure those shoulders are externally rotated, and as you do that, you should feel engagement in and around the shoulder blades. So we're keeping our shoulder stability here, as we press up and back into our down dog. A lot of times people collapse through the shoulders here. Make sure your spine is long from your tailbone to the crown of your head. Keep the neck in line with the rest of the spine. The hips are up and back in that diagonal direction and have the knees bent, but with the heels starting to come down towards the ground. Don't force the legs towards straight. Then on your inhale, Come up onto tiptoes, bend your knees a little more. Exhale, walk your feet forward towards the front of your mat, towards your hands, coming into a standing forward fold. Allow the hips to be high, but the knees are bent enough, the upper body is coming super close, or maybe even onto the thighs. The head hangs, the neck relaxes. And here we'll stay for a few breaths. Determine if you want to create some movement here or stay in stillness. Start to listen to the body, trust your intuition. And then come to stillness, place your hands on your shins, inhale, bring your upper body halfway up. Feel the length in the spine, the strength in the core, shoulder blades drawing down towards the hips, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, fold forward. Doing that two more times. Inhale, rise halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise halfway up. Exhale, fold. Now with that same length in the spine, strengthen the core. Inhale, come all the way up to standing arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down through center. And we'll come to our strong standing posture of mountain pose. So come to the front of your mat with your feet pointed straight forward, hip distance apart. 
check your feet here. This is a common error people will make. They'll have their toes out or even the toes in. So make sure the feet are pointed straight forward. You have your knees towards straight, but you have a slight micro bend in the knee. Never lock out the joints. Hips are in a neutral position. Your core is slightly engaged. Allow your shoulders to relax back and down. Have the neck long, so the ears coming right over the shoulders, tucking the chin just a little and then drawing the chin back. The arms are relaxed to the sides of the body with the palms facing straight forward. And we'll just take three to four breaths here, where once again, you continue to build the breath and draw your attention, your awareness to your breath a little bit more strongly, bringing your attention, your focus to the present moment a little bit more strongly. Then bring the palms together right in front of your sternum. Interlace your fingers. Exhale, press the palms away from you, round the spine. Find that space coming between the shoulder blades. Press the palms away and drop the head. Inhale, bring the hands back towards the chest, neutral spine, bending the elbows. Exhale, press the palms away, round through the spine, drop the head. And then moving on your own breath a few times. As you do this, really start to feel mobility come through the mid spine, through the thoracic spine. On your next exhale, pressing the palms away, Staying here for a breath or two. Next, inhale, palms will point towards the sky, neutral spine, then release your fingertips. Release the fingers. Have the spine long, core strong, leading with your chest. Exhale, fold forward at your hips. Hands on your shins. Inhale, bring your upper body halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bring your left foot back towards the back of the mat. So we're coming into a runner's lunge. Now you can always drop the back knee through this, or you can have the back knee up, energizing through the back leg. Front knee is directly over the ankle. The foot is pointed straight forward. Come up onto your fingertips so the chest rises off of the thigh and your shoulder blades come back down towards the hips. Square your hips. So feel as if the front foot is coming towards the back foot, back foot towards the front foot. Feel that stability through the pelvis. And then long spine, strong core. Inhale, rise up, arms up to a high lunge. Feel that squaring and activation through the hips. On your exhale, fold forward. Have the left hand on the ground out to the side just a little wider. Think of your right shoulder and arm as one unit. And inhale, bring the right arm up and out to the side, twisting through the mid spine. Draw the upper arm back into the shoulder socket so you feel stability through the shoulder. Stay away from just collapsing the arm back. You wanna roll the shoulder back. And then here to really feel that, Bring the back of your hand towards your mid spine. So placing the back of the hand on the back towards the mid spine, and then roll the shoulder back, feeling that mobility come through the thoracic spine. And then on your inhale, lengthen the arm again. Notice the difference. Exhale, bring the hand back down, having the hands on either side of the front foot. Your back foot's gonna stay where it is. Inhale, bring your front foot to meet your back, and we'll come into our high push-up position. Now, if you wish, you can always drop your knees down to a low push-up position. Really connect to the core. Press the ground away. Feel the core energize and activate, and make sure you're engaging the glutes, so squeezing the muscles in the seat. Staying here for about three breaths, developing our core strength. Now, we're going to lower down towards the ground, but you want to make sure you keep the spine long, hips in line with the rest of the spine as you do this. So if you need to drop the knees down, feel free to do that. Elbows stay tucked, 
exhale, lower down to the ground slowly. Tops of feet down onto the ground. Now we're going to come into a little bit of a different variation in our cobra to come into the thoracic spine. So bring your fingertips back behind the shoulders so your hands are at your rib cage. Have the elbows tucked in towards the body. Press down into the ground with your feet feeling the quads engaged, knees left. Now, remember we're coming through the mid spine here. Have great awareness. We're not pushing towards bringing those arms straight. Inhale, bring the chest and chin up and forward, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, lower. So you're gonna have a little less more mobility here. Remember to keep the elbows in towards the body. Do this two more times. Inhale, rising up to cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rising up to cobra. Exhale, lower. Bring your hands right under your shoulders. Tuck your toes under back behind you. Exhale, press up and back to that down dog. Set through the shoulders. Really press into the fingertips. Externally rotate through the shoulders. Feel the length in the spine. Remember, we're in an inverted V positioning, so you're pressing the ground away hips up and back in a diagonal direction. Inhale, bend knees, come up onto tip toes. Exhale, walk your feet forward to your forward fold. Allow the upper body to drape over the thighs, head to hang, neck to relax. Hands on shins. Inhale, rise halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, arms up, and right away. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right foot back towards the back of the mat, coming to our runner's lunge on the other side. Remember, you can always drop your back knee down. Have the front foot pointed straight forward, knee over ankle with the knee pointed straight forward. Come up onto the fingertips, chest rises, and then Feel those hips square, thighs scissoring towards each other. Set strong through the pelvis. Long spine, strong core. Inhale, rise up, arms up to your high lunge. Keep those hips squared. Really feel that strength. Exhale, fold forward. Right hand comes out a little wider on the ground. Think of your left arm and shoulder as one unit. And then inhale, bring your left arm up and out to the side. Twist through the spine, open up through the chest and shoulder. Make sure that the upper arm is drawing back into the shoulder socket, staying away from collapsing the arm back. Then bring the back of the hand onto your back, coming towards the mid spine, and roll your shoulder back a little bit more, finding a little bit more mobility through the thoracic spine. Inhale, bring that arm back up. Exhale. Hands down on either side of the front foot. Front foot stays where it is. Inhale, back foot meets front forward fold. This time in our forward fold, I'm going to invite you to pedal through the knees. So you're staying in your forward fold. On your inhale, bend both knees. Exhale, left leg towards straight, right knee bends. Inhale, bend both knees. Exhale, right leg towards straight, left knee bends and then simply move on your own breath. You should feel increased intensity coming into the leg that comes towards straight. And if you're really tight through the area of the IT band, this will probably hit it. Next time both knees are bent, come to stillness. Inhale, bring your left foot back towards the back of the mat. Drop your back knee down. Now, you can always pad up your back knee by folding up the mat or bringing a cushion or small yoga block under the back knee. Make sure front knee is over ankle and then walk your back knee back until you find a stretch in your hip flexors on the left side. Untuck the toes top of the foot down and just find that stretch not forcing and staying here for about two breaths, seeing if you can create some relaxation through the hip flexors. 
Then making sure the knee stays directly over the ankle and feeling stability through the low back. You're going to inhale slowly, come up onto your front thigh. Keep the upper body long and strong, just as if you're in mountain. Shoulders relax back and down. Press down into the hands, and, or press down into the thigh with the hands and feel your hands pressing that thigh forward just a little bit, but still keeping the knee over the ankle. Right hand stays on your right thigh. Inhale, lengthen your left arm up towards the sky, and then keeping that length, Exhale, reach over to the right side. Continuing to feel this through the hip flexors, maybe coming into the abdomen. Inhale, come back to center, reach up. Exhale, reach over to the right. Inhale, come back to center, reach up. And one more time, exhale, reach over to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, fold forward. Bring your back knee forward just a little bit. Tuck your toes under, back behind you. Inhale, bring the back knee up. Front foot stays where it is. Exhale, back foot meets front forward fold. This time in your forward fold, we're going to come through the mid spine. Make sure the knees are even and pointed straight forward. Bring your right hand to the outside of the left shin or ankle. Make sure the knees stay pointed directly forward and even. Think of your left shoulder and arm as one unit. Inhale, bring that left arm up and out to the side. Twist through the mid spine. Check your knees. Exhale, slowly bring that left hand down. Come through center. Left hand onto the right shin or ankle. Inhale, right arm up and out to the side. Twist through the mid spine. Open through chest and shoulder. Check the knees. Exhale, bring that hand back down. Inhale, bring your right foot back towards the back of the mat. Drop your back knee down. Make sure your left knee stays directly over your ankle. And then walk your right knee back until you find the stretch in your hip flexors. Once again, remember you can always pad up that back knee. Top of the foot down onto the ground. Feel that stretch in the hip flexors. And we'll stay here for about two breaths. And I want you to notice how this pose feels different on this side compared to the last. Really building your body awareness. And then having great stability through the low back. Slowly come up with your hands on the left thigh. Core is strong, spine is long, shoulder blades are relaxed, back and down. Gently press into the thigh with the hand. Gently press that thigh forward, but keep the knee directly over the ankle. Left hand stays on your left thigh. Inhale, lengthen the right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, reach over to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Once again, reach up and keep that as you exhale, reach over to the left. Inhale, back to center. And one more time, exhale, reach over to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, fold forward. Bring your back knee forward just a bit. Tuck your back toes under. Inhale, bring your back knee up. This time your back foot is going to stay exactly where it is. Exhale, bring your front foot to meet your back and press up and back to your down dog again. Staying here for a couple of breaths and noticing how this down dog feels different than your first. On your exhale, you're going to drop your knees down, come into a tabletop position. So make sure fingers are pointed straight forward, shoulders over elbows, elbows over wrists, knees under your hips. Inhale, bring your right leg up and back behind you. Bring your left arm up and forward. Make sure the right shoulder is over elbow, elbow over wrist, and press the ground away. Inhale, bring your right heel towards your seat, so bending the knee. Come around with your left hand, hold on to your right foot. Make sure shoulders are square, but that left shoulder opens a little bit. Kick your right foot into your left hand 
and feel that stretch coming through the quads. Depending on your range, you might lift the knee a bit. If you're having trouble with this pose, holding on to the foot with the hand, you can always use a strap here. On your exhale, release that foot. Come back to your tabletop. Reset, and then inhale, left leg up and back, right arm up and forward. Really make sure left shoulder is over elbow, elbow over wrist, press the ground away. Inhale, bend the knee, your left heel comes towards your seat. Come around with the right hand to hold on to the left foot, shoulder square, but that right shoulder opens a little bit. Kick your foot into your hand, and then, depending on your range, maybe lift that back knee a little bit. Breathe. On your exhale, release that foot, and then come onto your seat. Once you come onto your seat, you're just gonna eventually make your way down onto your back. Once you come onto your back, we're gonna extend the legs out long on the ground about mat distance apart. So we're coming into our final resting pose of Shavasana. The arms are at the sides with the palms facing straight up towards the ceiling. Allow the eyes to close. And allow the hips to relax, maybe enough the feet fall out to the side. And take a few breaths here. Once again, feeling yourself use just a little bit more of your lung capacity on every inhale. And on every exhale of a quality of letting go. See if you can allow yourself to let go of tension through the body. And allow the body to relax and also allow the mind to relax. Now, you can stay in Shavasana for as long as you wish. When you choose to come out of Shavasana, I encourage you first to go through another body scan, simply noticing how your body has responded to your practice, and then taking a few breaths to notice how your mind's responded to your practice eventually creating small movement through the fingers and toes, working your way up to larger movements, coming on to one side or the other, and pressing yourself up into a seated position. I hope you loved that short yoga practice. I know it's going to help you open up through the thoracic spine and through the hips. If you want to find out more of what we do and the online classes we offer, visit our website, swimmingspecificyoga.com. I really enjoyed that, and thank you to the Effortless Swimming community to allow me to bring you this practice.